So, all things considered, I really am way in over my head. But it's been decided by me that I'm going to paint my engagement dress. First thing I'm gonna do today is um, redo the digital sketch to do a more detailed one just because I'm so nervous right now and then I'm going to do some warm-up sketches some warm-up warm painting on paper before finally painting it to the dress so stay tuned for the journey
Hello. This is day two of painting my engagement dress. So far, so good. Yesterday, I have finished the main uh, piece for my dress. It was really fun, uh, albeit a bit stressful in the beginning and in the middle part. But all good, all good. My back and my legs are hurting today. <laughs> I think because I, you know. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really glad that I'm doing this. I am feeling a bit insecure of how people are going to judge my dress. But it was such a fun process, so that's what I need to remember.
painting my engagement dress. Today I'm gonna do some finishing touches. Not that much to do anymore. I'm really excited <laughs> to have this all finished. Um, and then I'm gonna send it to the fashion designer, who is also my best friend. And she will finish up the dress so that it's ready for my engagement day. I just want to show you these shoes. Once you get to meet her, she's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her. I hope you enjoy watching me paint the sanctuary dress. Uh, 
I really really enjoy the process and I'm quite happy with the result some people came up to me and say they can't believe I actually paint on the dress not just make the design and have someone else do it or print on the dress so I'm quite happy with that special thank you for my best friend Angel who make all of this possible really who makes the dress and makes it pretty and makes it wearable I owe it to you thank you for everyone who has supported me on this journey you make me confident enough to actually use it uh, yeah I love you <laughs> I bought like so many paints and I thought I'm gonna use all of them up but turns out um, no I still have some left so if you have any dress you want to paint hit me up I think I'm ready to paint more dress I mean I want to so yeah I also want to show you this these are the palettes that I use so I use the tear, tear up tear off uh, palettes and now I have a reminder of the color palette that I use for the dress that was nice uh, before I end the video I want to answer some of your questions I have open a Q&A on my Instagram so if you haven't followed me there what are you doing I'm just kidding please follow me there and subscribe and comment and like and follow me on TikTok as well so yeah <laughs> uh, first question how long did you take did it take to paint your dress bagus banget kak thank you kak Maria so uh, I put the timestamp on the video. I think overall I spent maybe 20 hours all together, but over the course of three days. But that was just painting the dress. Uh, like with considering the designs, doing the sketches, and then choosing the sparkles, all the fillings, and also, you know, actually uh, making the dress. Uh, yeah. It, will pro it probably takes like three months depending on your fashion designer as well like how soon they can um, make the dress you know second question how did you decide on a design so <laughs> i actually procrastinate uh making the design for months um <laughs> i originally wanted to do a phoenix and peony flowers design because i talked to my grandma and she said that's what um, they traditionally have on sang sangjit dresses and sangjit themes but uh, i think i just wouldn't be able to do that <laughs> i also saw a lot of references uh, on lotus and water lilies and i really like them i actually decided on the color theme first which is the green and uh, pink uh, sage green and like light pink and the lotus flowers just fits into that so i guess that's how i decided <laughs> to use a lotus flower and then i did a lot more research on how designs usually are on uh, dresses because I uh, my background is not really on like you know fashion design uh, so I just took a lot of references I did like five uh, digital sketches uh, for the composition and then choose the one that I like best if given the chance would you do it again what did you like and dislike about your DIY um if i can turn back time i would make the same decision i would love to use uh, painted dress my own painted dress for my sangjit but if i have to do it again right now i probably wouldn't <laughs> i mean like i wouldn't want to do like the same design on another dress um 
I like I like the process, I like the design, I like uh, using them as well. I did not like what it did to my posture, <laughs> but that's due to my lack of, you know, decent workspace, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I also, I also, honestly, I, um, I did not like the bird that I made, like uh, I could do better, I think, with more practice, but yeah. Uh, next question, any tips for others trying to do something similar with what you're doing? <gasps> okay, I'm so excited because I have uh, several tips. So uh, first of all, make sure that you really, really want to do it because uh, you're gonna have to have that motivation to go through the ugly part, you know? And then do a lot of digital sketch, put the dress, uh, and then take photo, and then dress on top of the photo, uh, instead of, you know, drawing the dress. That way you can really imagine how it would look like. Uh, and then have a spare fabrics, so you can try out the colors, see how it is when it dries, and practice practice the shapes you're going to make if it's possible have a better workspace <laughs> like maybe a big table where your dress can fit or even a mannequin so that way you don't have to keep crouching down and hurt your back and then uh, I don't know if this is a tip a good tip or not but it works for me um, I actually use like cheaper paints i don't buy the more expensive fabric paints uh, yeah the brand i use is marias marias fabric paints and i think they're quite affordable uh, and i think that way you're not too precious or too pressured with painting or wasting paints but i don't know the implication it has in the future i don't know how long this paint will last so i'll see i'll see if this is a good tip or not um, lastly i think it's just to have the mindset that this is your dress and this is your style uh, people are going to have opinions people are some people are going to say like oh why did you make it this way or blah 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 but just remember that everyone has different styles so what people think is good might not be what you like so just you know be confident i know it's such a horrible advice but it comes from you know from knowing that you tried your best and that all art is beautiful and you know the person who's going to look at the design the most is you so just make sure that you like it and that's all you need to do uh, i think that's all i can share on this so far uh, if you have any more questions feel free to comment down below and i'll try to answer all of them uh, again thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be my Sangjit Day vlog. So stay tuned and stay kind.